This is a variant on the very popular sort of LED disco ball type thing. And this version, because it rotates on a vertical axis, it creates an interesting effect. That if you look at one wall, all the points of light are sort of going up the wall. And if you look at the other wall, they're all pouring down. And it gives, it gives a very sort of, uh, it gives a sort of snowfall effect, uh, but in colour. It's quite a nice visual effect. So um, let's take a look inside it and uh, see what makes it tick. So let's investigate. Uh, any guesses? Because um, I know that I can see from the side that it's got two little circuit boards with the three LEDs in each, red, green and blue. One on either side. And I'm guessing, well, if I turn one side, um, well, if I turn it uh, one direction, one LED lights, and if I turn the other, the red and blue light, which suggests that it is just tapped across the LEDs again. So let's uh, plug it in and see what power it takes. I'm expecting roughly one watt per LED. No. This actually looks like a typical 3 watt driver with the sort of tolerance that you get in it. So it's only drawing 2.4 watts, which is not bad because it was actually quite bright for that. Uh, this runs a much slower speed than many of the others, and it was quite noisy when I first got it, but after a while of running it loosened up, but it did initially stall, meaning that it is being run at very sort of low voltage just to make it run slowly. But, um, it seems to have loosened up now, uh, and it makes that noise that you get off these things, but it is just clearly one motor being used to drive uh, both sides. So let's get that out of the way. I'll unplug it before I stick my finger in the socket. And let's open it up. I don't think it's really going to contain that many surprises. These units, they're just a very good effect. Right, so there's the expected circle, circular PCB. Uh, it, I had it running for a while, is it hot? Not really, it's, uh, bear in mind, it is only running just over a watt per side, so it's not really that dramatic. And if I take off this side, there's the motor uh, with the gearbox tucked inside. Can it come apart anymore, or am I going to be trapped by this? Uh, the fact it's uh, into this holder here? This kind of shows us everything we really need to see. It is that one gearbox assembly. These things are cheap. They're actually cheap enough to seriously consider getting for the bits because it's good value. You get the you get the little power supply, which I see is tucked down inside there. Can you see the little power supply there? It's just tucked inside. Um, and you get the motor, the geared motor, which in this case is tapped across one LED. Which one is it tapped across? It's tapped across the green LED. Um, the two circuit boards... They're actually hooked in parallel, so it is a standard 3-watt uh, style driver designed to run three LEDs in series. So I've taken those screws out. It's not going to part, is it? No, it's not. Um, there are other screws holding this circuit board on. Whoop. Is that going to liberate it? It's not going to come apart. It is because it's crimped together at the base here. But let's just take all the screws out randomly for no good reason at all. So yes, what it yields is, as I say, these two LED circuit boards designed to run on a supply. Typically the LEDs in these will be in series, so the combined voltage will be two, uh, green and blue, and the red will be about 8 volts, uh, so you'd have to use current limiting, which of course is what's down in here, uh, just tucked in this area down here. Uh, and of course the motor, which uh, it clearly ha it's happy with about 3 volts because it's just tapped across one of the LEDs. And that's about it really, without actually trying to burst it open further, and I, I don't think it's going to reveal all that much. E even the gearbox inside looks very similar to the ones found in the other lights, but with the uh, difference that the shaft comes right through. So really, that's fundamentally about it. There's not really much else to say. It's, it's based on the original ones, the ones that just point one direction, but the fact it rolls barrel style means it'd be quite interesting to change these for warm white LEDs or cold white LEDs to create a snowfall effect. It'd be quite interesting. Although that said, when you change it for the phosphor-based LEDs, they, they, they don't create as sharp a point of light as the bare chip, the red, green and blue does. And that means that if you try and shine the white LEDs through these, it just results in a more diffused pattern on the wall. It's more of a splash instead of a dot. But yeah, it's pretty neat. It's nice construction. It's all right. It's quite a nice little light. And... Uh, 
There's really not a huge amount to go wrong with that typical generic power supply, just a little motor and uh, three well underrun circuit boards with LEDs. So yeah, it's pretty neat.